Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is quite an exciting video. Also, apologies if you're shaking about because I have had two coffees this morning. I say this morning, it's actually this afternoon now. Oh my God, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably need to sit these down. I do apologise if my hand is shaky. Like I said, I had two coffees. Um, I have actually been having decaf coffees. Um, I thought today that I was fine with the coffee. Um, and apparently not because I'm now shaking. Can you see that? I don't even know if you can see it. Okay, that's better. Um, my hands were too shaky to hold you up there. What I was telling you was that I have just checked in to the hotel in Glasgow. It's right next to Central Station, so if you're coming up to Glasgow for a wee weekend, then this is like a really, really good location. Um, sorry if I keep looking at the window, they've got um, like floor to ceiling windows in here and you can see everyone out on the street, so I'm having a wee nosy. Um, but yeah, this is actually going to be my birthday vlog. So my birthday's on Wednesday and I got asked to come to the hotel. It sounds so weird when you say hotel. I feel like it's as if I'm not saying hotel. Take a breath. I feel like I've been running about like a headless chicken today and having that many coffees has not helped my little heart. It's racing a million miles an hour. So let me take a wee breath so I can continue. Like I was saying, this is going to be my birthday vlog. Um, the hotel Glasgow kindly asked if I wanted to come in and have an overnight um, and they gave me certain dates to pick from. The last date you could come was actually the 6th of June which is today and my birthday is on the 9th so I thought this would be quite a nicey thing for me and Chris to come and do. Um, I had planned originally to go out for dinner and drinks and then I was like, do you know what, all we've been doing recently, see, because everywhere's open, all we've been doing is going out, like, every weekend. And I was like, it would just be nice to, like, chill and have a nice wee night in, order some food. But guys, it is so hot outside. Like, I feel like I'm sweating. If I look sweaty on here, it's because I actually am. So I've literally just went and had um, some photos done. My mum took some pictures. I had some work that I need to get done for this week. Um, so because my birthday's on Wednesday, I thought I'll do that quickly before I come in um, for my overnight. Chris has not finished work yet, so he's just going to come and meet me here. He should be finishing actually in the next five, ten minutes. Um, so mum just dropped me as I walked along. I, I said to her, I was like, it's such a nice night. It's, like, it seems like a bit of a waste to be like in Glasgow, not have to get a taxi home. I've not actually bought any like fancy clothes, but I just fancy maybe going and like sitting out in the sun somewhere. So yeah, when he phones, I'm going to just say, why don't we just go just for a couple drinks somewhere, like just go and find like a wee beer garden or something have some food or something so yeah he's probably gonna be like Laura I thought we we're having a cozy night in but it's like roasting outside you can't have a cozy night when it's roasting can you so yeah this is gonna be my birthday vlog um so I'll show you kind of what we got up to tonight and then I probably won't vlog again until my birthday on Wednesday but I've got like a cute little day planned with my mum um so yeah that's kind of just thought I'd start here because I thought well I'm actually going away in a wee overnight so I thought that'd be quite cute. So I'll give you a quick tour of the room. I'm so impressed guys like we are actually hoping to go through to Edinburgh for an overnight in two or three weeks time um, and I've already looked to book in another hotel because they're really really nice. They're very very modern, very clean um, and yeah they're quite cheap as well to book so win-win. Um, so yeah I'm going to stop rambling because like I said my heart is racing a million miles an hour and I'm going to show you the room and then I think I'm going to get a shiver because I feel very sweaty. Um, and I'm also, oh, also a hair disaster, um, washed my hair this morning and my dad was washing the car so the water kept kind of like cutting off in the shower um, and I've basically not got all the product out of my hair now, girls, you know the issue with that, like it's like greasy hair but it's not greasy hair, it's like product in your hair so I've got like half a can of dry shampoo and it's still not helping the situation so I think I'm just going to sleep burn my hair, big hoops. and yeah, I mean it, to be fair it'll keep me cooler if I'm going out because it is like 22 degrees out there so I'll show you around the room, I'll stop rambling um, and yeah, let's have a little cute overnight together. So this is the view as you come in the room, you've got like a kind of little mini wardrobe um, area to put like your luggage so I've just bunged all of our stuff there. Um, I brought all of Chris's stuff as well as mine so that is why I was sweaty walking along the road. And then you've got a gorgeous big double bed, I like how white and clean this room is, like it's um, not fussy, it's quite simple which I really like so don't mind me, I've just chucked my bag there. Big bed, I think this looks like this turns into a sofa. I mean I could be talking absolute rubbish but it does look like that. Um, there's a big mirror, hi it's me. Little desk area, you can see Glasgow out there out that big window. Coming round here, I'll show you the bathroom in a minute. We've got a TV. Then props to them for having a full length um, mirror because a lot of hotels don't have this. Also guys, the lighting in here is so good. Like you know that way when you come away on an overnight and you get into your hotel room and it's pitch black and you can't do your makeup. Nothing more annoying. Um, but how nice is this little bathroom area? I feel like I'm in London or something. It's so nice. So we've got ironing board, safe, iron and a hairdryer which is brilliant because 
I actually need to iron the shirt that I want to wear out tonight. Then we've got a cute little sink area. Again, looking out to Glasgow. Then we've got the shower here. How nice is this? Look, it's a big rainfall shower. And then the toilet's in here. How cute is this? They've also given us little gin and tonics. This is a Glasgow gin company. Very, very good. I've had it before. Um, so I think I might actually have a wee gin and tonic since I have decided that I'm going to a beer garden. hope Chris is on board for these plans, by the way. <laughs> so I'm going to go and settle down because, like I said, coffee running through my veins right now. Not good. I'm um, going back on decaf after today's experience. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to be at the hotel in Glasgow. I'm so chuffed that they've asked me to come in. What a stunning hotel room. I definitely recommend, guys. So far, so good. Also, check-in was super easy. A lovely girl helped me at the desk. She basically took me over to like a wee kiosk area and you do your check-in all yourself. It's like a self-check-in, but she was there to like help me. Um, dead, dead easy, dead fast. I think I checked in within like four minutes. So yeah, 10 out of 10 so far for location, the room and the check-in process. Um, but yeah, like I said, very just today with the coffee. So I'm gonna go tan some water, try and get rid of the justiness and I will speak to you soon. Chris has now joined me and I'm on my phone. Um, I'm waiting on a taxi coming in the middle of the road, so this is kind of embarrassing. Uh, but we've last minute, we're going out. So we're going to meet some friends for some drinks, but it's such a nice night, isn't it? It's lovely. It's dead sunny. I'm just waiting on a taxi, Mr. Cheery, you're hungry or something? Can you just ask me that to the attitude, right? <laughs> right? Our driver's here, bye! Um, it's been Sunday I last walked these, wasn't it? I have came back alive from the dead. Wow. Um, what is it they say? Like last minute nights out always end up being the best and Sunday night was honestly like such a good night. Um, we met up with Chris's, one of Chris's best friends and his girlfriend who I've become really quite close to recently. Um, we'd actually been out for brunch that morning and then me and Chris obviously said we wanted to go for some drinks because it was such a nice night on Sunday um, and they were already out for a couple of drinks so we went, met them, we supposed to just be a couple of drinks, be a bit of food um, and silly me, I hadn't really eaten much the whole day because I'd been running around. When we then met them we had quite a lot of wine, cocktails and I had some calamari and some chips like but nothing really um so to say that i was ill yesterday would be an understatement i think that's the most hungover i have been in my life to be honest i was dying like really dying but what a good night like we had so much fun um so it kind of was worth it um so yeah me and chris obviously chris is the monday off yesterday was supposed to be spent like cleaning and organizing and having a wee day in town and yeah i literally we walked to the car yesterday from the hotel and I was like, no, no chance, I need to go home and die, basically. So that's exactly what we did. We had a nice wee takeaway last night and today's Tuesday. I've been working about all morning. Took my period this morning as well though, guys, and feel, I felt absolutely awful and I was like, oh God. Um, but I've managed to kind of push through, took some paracetamol and I'm actually now heading to get my nails and my toes done. So now my car is going, so I will speak to you. We're 26 today. Well, actually. I'm not 26 until about 9 o'clock, so I've got a few more hours of being a young spring chicken. 22 minutes past 9. 22 minutes past 9. But yeah, it's my birthday today. And I'm at, it's weird, I feel like it doesn't feel that far, like that long ago since my last birthday, doesn't it not? Doesn't it feel like a full years went past? Um, but I've came down the stairs and my wee mum, bless her cotton socks, she's made an effort as usual. Um, I'm not doing anything too crazy for my birthday this year, I just decided I wanted to spend the day with my mum, so... That's exactly what I'm going to do. So she's done a lovely wee set up in the background. I'm going to go and open some presents. She you said that I wasn't getting anything and now there's like four or five presents there. So, okay, so my face looks so puffy and old this morning. Woke up old. <laughs> um, and my fake tan on my hands. Well, let's not talk about that. Um, so I'm going to go open my presents and then I'll take you guys on my wee day with me. Here's Linda's set up. I got this gorgeous balloon from Beaut Balloons, is that how you say it? I'll put their Instagram up. Oh, this is from Beaut Balloons. I literally just said to her I wanted something quite neutral as, you know, I feel like getting to that neutral age in life. Yeah, I don't know whether I put that. No, she, she, right. she did. She said just put the pampas in. And then my mum's did our lovely wrapping. 
Look how beautiful these flowers are. They're so nice. I really like um, daisies. Well, I kind of my nickname when I was younger was kind of Daisy, so she couldn't get any daisies, so she thought these kind of looked like daisies. <laughs> That's so cute. You always make such an effort, Mammy. Mm -hmm. Looks lovely. Thought mm -hmm. so I would give you guys a little look at my birthday cake. This is like one of the Skims cakes, and see when I seen um, that cake on that Skims campaign, I was like, I would like that for my birthday. And bear in mind that was like six months ago. Um, but how gorgeous! This is from Oh Sweet Darling. Um, again, I'll pop up the Instagram for you. But see, as soon as I picked this up yesterday, it smells so good. Did you notice that, Mum? Like it's got such a I sweet scent. It smells I, so good. I kept peeking into it and I was showing Kevin mm -hmm. and. You open it up and oh. it's all oh, it just it smells, it smells oh. amazing. Because you could get whatever um, flavour and inside that you wanted, but I just love classic birthday cakes. So, so nice. Don't mind the wee bit of um, smudging. I just try to be a bit of icing because I couldn't help myself. And again, you can get it in whatever colours you want. So thank you so much to Oh Sweet Darling for the birthday cake. It's gorgeous. brunch I never got to speak to you before I left because I was rushing about like a mad woman I thought I had Hunter's the same this morning and then realised I actually didn't um, but we came to Mr McGregor's in Clarkston I seen that on Instagram it was like a couple weeks ago and you know, I was like oh that would be a nice place for me to go for a wee brunch with my mum um, so yeah we just came had, I've got pancakes I've been fancying pancakes I've not really had anything like that in ages um, my hair is sitting so weirdly today hence why it's tucked behind my ears um, but yeah, we just had a nice wee brunch and I think we're just maybe going to go do some shopping or something. I think it'll be wonderful. The only thing is, the outfit that I wanted to wear today didn't arrive on time, so that was good. And then the present I bought myself didn't arrive either, so I don't know if we'll go back and wait on that coming in or we'll just go straight out. I got quite stressed out for it being my birthday, I've had quite a stressful time. Oh, and then my mum, to top it all off, locked herself in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't actually lock herself in. Um, it, it was a sliding door, and I was coming out of my bathroom. I could hear her. I was like washing my hands, and I could hear her. I was like, she thinks she's locked in that bathroom, and I knew she wasn't locked in the bathroom. And then as I came out of the toilet, it was like I could hear her going, Laura. And I went like that, and nope, slid the door open. It wasn't even locked, right? She just hadn't. She was trying to pull the door, and it was a sliding door. <laughs> she's getting old, guys. She's getting old. Oh. Had a really nice wee morning actually, just me and my mum. Chris is coming over later. I told him not to bother staying over last night because this is my last birthday at home and I wanted to spend the morning with mum. So well, that's exactly what we've done. We'll go cruise or something maybe shop. So next year then I'll just come up to yours mm -hmm. and we can do something. How weird I'm getting old. Thank you so much for all the love by the way. I've had so many people messaging and commenting on my pictures and stuff. So I really appreciate it. I'm not feeling that well today actually. No? No, I don't know if it's hay fever or something. I keep thinking I've got hay fever every year, but then I don't really know if it is hay fever or what it is. I'm going to go because I'm not enjoying how I look today either. Nothing wrong with you. My face looks I'm huge. I'm going to go maybe do a wee bit of shopping and then I'll catch up with you when we're in the house later. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday dear Laura! Happy birthday to you! Hi guys, it's 
several weeks later now. Little story to tell you. So after my birthday, well actually in my birthday vlog you'll have seen that I was saying um, I didn't feel that great on my birthday. Anyway, the night progressed and I just started to feel really kind of rubbish. Um, and then Chris came over and I noticed that he was kind of coughing as well. And I was like, oh my goodness, why are you coughing? You know that way now, like as soon as you feel slightly unwell, you're like, is it COVID? Um, so I think I gave myself a temperature because I was so stressed by the fact that um, I potentially had COVID. I'd been in the car with my mum all day. Like I was just really stressed out. Um, couldn't sleep that night, felt absolutely awful. The next day, me and Chris took the little lateral flow test. We were both negative. We both then got an actual COVID test. Um, and yeah, we isolated that full day in my bedroom. So this was the day after my birthday. Um, feeling rubbish to then find out that we didn't have COVID. So I don't know if we just had a wee bit of a cold, a little bit of the flu. I'm not sure what we had, but we both just weren't feeling that great. More so me than Chris. Yeah, we just wanted to be on the safe side. So it was good that we didn't have COVID because like I said, I was very really stressed by the fact that I'd been in the car with my mum all day. That's why my birthday vlog ended quite abruptly. I didn't feel that great. Um, and then by the weekend, like the, sat the Sunday I think it was, I did an unboxing of the bag that I got. I think I mentioned I bought myself a bag. Um, and I did a little unboxing to show you guys, but honestly, see the footage, I just couldn't even share with you. It's like, I look like death and I sound even worse. So I didn't want to insert that. The bag that I got from birthday was a Jackamus bag. I'm not even going to attempt to say the name. I'll pop on the screen the one I got. Um, you'll have probably seen it all over my Instagram because I've not had it off since I got it. The only thing I would say, guys, I've had a lot of views messaging asking like where I got the bag. Um, and, well, two things I would say. I was charged an extra £100 um, custom fees, obviously with Brexit and everything. It's more difficult to get things. Um, it's not supposed to be that much. I have no idea what was going on. It was UPS that sent it. Um, and I had to pay an extra £100, but because I was buying it for my birthday, I was just like, do you know what, just pay it and get it. Um, and the second thing I would say is the bag that I got is kind of suede. It marks so easily, like it gets scratched really easily and like it just it picks up any little mark. Um, I'm always really careful with when I buy myself things, but honestly this bag looks like it's been put through the ringer and it's been out with me. I mean, I have used it a lot, but... It's not been like I use it maybe like if taking a picture or like going out for dinner, like I'm not flinging it about anywhere. So just bear that in mind if you're going to go for one of the kind of suede bags, they do mark quite easily. Um, I think that's kind of the look of them though. So yeah, um, I absolutely love it still and I'm going to take it on holiday with me next week. So I'm glad I got it. And I would like one of the kind of leather ones, the kind of creamy biscuity colour ones. I should be on a spending man. So yeah, I just wanted to come on and end this video for you guys because otherwise it kind of ends very abruptly. Um, I had a lovely birthday regardless of being a wee bit ill towards the end and I can't thank you guys all enough for all of the birthday wishes and messages. Honestly, like I had such a nice day as always um, and it was made even nicer by all of your kind of wishes. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this little birthday vlog. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in another video really, really soon.